Hey, Paula, right? Pretty gal. So, hey guys, what's up? Nadia here. I am multi streaming. So, if you see me looking like two different ways, just bear with me because I am streaming on two different tripods because my kids lost. I had like this tripod contraption, but I can't find the tripod that goes with it. <laughs> And when I put it on this one, it kind of like um, flips over. Donna, I'm going to remember. Next time, don't tell me. I'm going to remember. So I won't forget, Donna. All right. So welcome. I'm back. I wouldn't say I'm like back, back, but I'm at about 85%, 90% of being COVID free. I want to say I'm COVID positive, but I didn't take the test because my whole family was positive pretty much. And by the time, um, we kept doing the tests and it got down to me. Like I tested negative until I was time to take the test again for myself to see if I had any symptoms. I mean, because I was feeling like a little symptomatic. Can you, can you hear me? I'm like, I sound congested. I got a little cough. So, but I have allergies, so I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to say I am, but all right. So the only thing like I've been experiencing is like headaches, but this is a, the bad thing about it because anything that I have right now, like is something that I already suffered from. So uh, I suffer from migraines and I get migraines when I'm stressed, when I'm overworked and when I don't get good sleep and all of those things was going on these past couple of days. So, and then like it's allergy season cause you know, April, May and I sneeze a lot. And then when I sneeze a lot, it, turns into a cold, but you know, process of elimination, but everyone's doing well. Thank you guys for your well wishes, but I wanted to jump on and give you guys the gym tour because a lot of you guys have been harassing me. Plus I want to get it done and out of the way this way we can move on into working out. All right. So I'm starting from outside cause I really want to show off this door. This is the glass barn door. I got this door from Home Depot. I installed it myself. If you're not following me on my uh, Instagram and TikTok and Facebook, you can follow me there. I share my stories. So if you're on YouTube right now, you know, I put this stuff in there. But it was super, super easy to install. I paid $300, 300 plus for the door. Um, they also sell the door at Lowe's right and other places i bought it from home depot because girl i got a home depot card so <laughs> i got this door super easy one is five anchors in there to put it up you put this baseboard here can you see it hold on let me tilt this camera up a little bit can you see the blackboard that's up there yeah there you go into studs and then you screw the rest of it into the board all right so i chose the glass because Really and truly, I wanted this whole wall to be glass, right? I wanted the whole wall to be glass. This way I could see what's going on in here in the basement, like when the kids are down here. But budget-wise, we had to go with this, all right? So um, clear glass, I could see in and out, and the door easily slides. Boom, we're in the gym, okay? I'm going to move you guys in here and give you guys a big reveal with the lights camera action so i am my own camera person guys please bear with me because i'm moving to tripods as i said if you have any questions um shoot it in the comments would would i like to come and help design your home gym <laughs> i got tips and tricks so if you want to ask me questions as i go through this process i can tell you so move you guys in here and we'll give you the big reveal it's gonna be in the dark <clears throat> hopefully you guys can hear me well if you can't just let me know and i will ah, yay! here we go all right so i'll give you guys like a good look around first i will pan the camera around this way you can see it and i'll walk around so you can see, all right, so over here, I have my strength training section and then my nice accent wall. Then this side, I wanted to do like a little cardio um, setup over this side and then 
this beast of a machine here. I'm going to show you guys what that is later. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Give you guys a pan around. So strength training section here on this side of the wall, over this side, accent, go into my cardio. And then I'm gonna show you guys this machine here. So we're gonna start with the wall here. All right. And I, um, if you're on YouTube or Facebook right now, you're watching this, the link for everything is in the description. You'll see um, where I got the stuff. And if there's no link, I'll just pretty much tell you, like there's no link for the Home Depot um, door, but that's where I got it from, the Home Depot glass. All right, so these are pegs that you put in the wall. This is a single attachment. I got this from um, PRX. They hold your barbells um, weight. And this one is a four peg. This one is the three peg with the wings. The wings are these little things right here. And what you can do is put smaller weights on there um, because this, this you put it in a stud. So because this stud is so close to the wall, I cannot fit um, anything over like a two and a half pound weight on this peg, which is fine because I just put on that peg, I pretty much just put like um, the, the, the clips and the clamps and just keep it there. All right, I've had the, this one for what, five years now and I just bought this one the other day. Um, I want to say I paid like one something for this one. And I'm going to tell you guys, like everything that I bought years ago, the price went up on a lot of stuff. It's super expensive, super pricey for certain stuff now. So um, if you hear me call out a price, please don't hold me to it because that's what I paid for it then. But what, is, what it is now is totally different. And again, you can go to my um, Amazon faves. I linked a lot of the stuff, even though I bought some of the stuff on different websites. What I did, I went to Amazon, I found them and I put it there. So this way it will all be in one central location for you. You could go there, you could see the name and then you could do the same thing if you want to shop around and um, find stuff different places. But the prices is pretty much the same because uh, say you buy something for 150 on Amazon and then on the other website is... 130, but once you pay for shipping and handling, the only way you're gonna beat Amazon prices is pretty much if you not paying for shipping and handling and how fast you want it and how much taxes they put in it. So that's what I would say when I'm price checking, that's what I do. So I got these directly from the PRX performance website. I did get that one from the Amazon website because for some reason I couldn't find it on the company website, but I found it on Amazon, bought that. So again, I, you have to mount them to studs for them to be nice and sturdy. You can't just mount them into drywall. All right. Um, right next to it, I have my weight, my my rack, and this rack here. I've had the rack for the same amount of time. I've had the this four peg. The rack is um, a space saver rack, but because I'm in the basement now, I cannot save any space. Um, in reference to it folding up. So it actually folds up and go up in the ceiling and flatten down on the wall. But because the ceiling is much lower right now and I wasn't gonna buy a replacement rack, um, I just pretty much use the same one and it's super short in distance away from the wall. So it's not out in the way a lot. I wanna say it's um, maybe like 24 inches off the wall, right? This mirror, I got it on Amazon five years ago, and it's super, it's like triple the price now, but it's from Fab Glass. So the mirror is from Fab Glass. The rack is from PRX, right? Most of my stuff is from PRX because they do um, a lot of sa space saving, and I love saving space, especially when I'm in, like, it's not a super big gym, and I like the open floor space for when I'm doing like calisthenics work or when my kids come down here and play. So um, a lot of the stuff is mounted on the wall and off the ground. This way also, even though I can push some stuff against the wall, I like that I can just easily like clean and mop up the floor and sweep and things like that because it's not on the ground. Um, 
So the rack, I bought it for eight, $800 uh, five years ago. Don't ask me how much it is now. I don't even think they sell this same design. They might have like a new pull-up bar set up, which I tried to go on there and get the new pull-up bar set up where it had like different hand positions, but I couldn't get the bar by itself. So we're going to rock with that. So the glass, <clears throat> 48 by 60. And my other glass was 48 by 72. That one broke and I had replaced it. And I'm going to show you guys the replacement. The wall decal, that's from Amazon. The barbell, let me turn. So the barbell racks right here. I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see. <clears throat> so these, that holds the barbell up, barbell mounts, PRX. The kettlebell mounts as well is from PRX. I'm bringing you guys over here. So again, everything here that's mounted on the wall, the mounts are all from PRX Performance. So this is a chalk bin, but it's also like, if you take out this piece, you could put a, a medicine ball in there and it's pretty much what that is. So the medicine ball holder, or you put chalk, I use the chalk with the bag instead of the dust all over the place because my kids will have a field day with it. Kettlebell mounts. Everything um, that's heavy is in a stud. So the barbells in a stud, the kettlebells are in studs. These uh, medicine ball holder and the chalk, it doesn't have to be in studs, but they are because I put them in that same line. The battle rope and the hook. Battle rope, I got it from Amazon years ago, but the holder is also PRX. Then the dip station setup, this is what that is. That's a dip attachment to the for the bar. So this here is a dip attachment. You hook it up onto your rack and you can do dips. I pretty much got that for Oliver. I don't do dips that much, honestly. <laughs> but maybe in the future I'll be doing some dips. I don't know. But um, easy come off. You just take it up. Let me see. It is. And then you hook it up onto the station. And you can put this the other way if you want, like that, bam. And that's also in a stud. So this rack, my dumbbells, oh yeah. So I changed out the dumbbells and I got the hex, the hex design for the dumbbells. The reason why I got the hex design instead of the rolling dumbbells is for when I'm on the ground and I'm doing movements that are on the ground, right? I don't have to, I don't have to worry about the dumbbell rolling. Like, you know, you're doing some renegade rolls and the dumbbell rolls away. Yeah. So this is why I got the hex ones. Um, and I also got these for PRX. They had the most affordable pricing for dumbbells right now. I'm, I want to tell you guys, like dumbbells really went up on pricing um, in reference to what it was a few years ago because COVID had everybody doing home gyms. And I swear, like, the prices went up, but I did get some, actually got some of them from PRX. So the heavy ones, the 50s to 35, I got from PRX. And then the 25 to, to um, 10, I also got, I got those from um, Amazon and they were cheaper. So I priced my stuff out that way. I couldn't get the really, really heavy ones from Amazon. That was a good price. So that's what I went. For the kettlebells, I went with um, PRX because they, I really like the black. All right, so for the kettlebells, guys, I went with the PRX. Um, you could get them from Rogue too, but I like the black design. Um, and then I like the fact that they didn't have the color code. This way, when Oliver comes in here, he doesn't talk about the kettlebell got pink or purple on it. So um, I just went with the nice slick black because black was my theme for the gym, black and white, because um, I thought it looked nice and clean. And black just looks good with everything, I'm just saying. And then in the corner right there, you have the band resistant band. I have my sand bags, and then I got my little baby weights for my kids. <laughs> These are the colored weights. <laughs> For over here, that's my light because you know I do my studio in here. So that's one of the lights set up. 
So I'll show you guys another um, lighting setup for my studio. So this here, the light is not on it, but this mount right here, can you see, hold on. This random thing, there's two in the ceiling. So again, I wanted nothing pretty much on the floor. So I have a three light set up, one in the back that shows like gets rid of the shadow behind me, especially because the wall is black. And then um, these two here and my, my uh, lights attached to it. And I put the plugs, they're right next to plugs. So plugs are pretty much all over in the gym and which I really, really love that plugs are pretty much on every doggone wall in here. And it's like three, four plugs on walls. Um, the bench, so the workout bench is from Rep Fitness, R-E-P, -E bought it on Amazon years ago as well. I do know the price went up like $90 on that bench, but it's a thousand pound bench, really love it. It folds, um, it has wheels so you can move it easily, right? And then this part, the foot part adjusts. The only bumming thing is that it's not like a leg extension attachment bench, which would have been super dope. But it does um, go in the decline position, which is nice. So when you wanna do a decline press or some decline ab work, the bench flattens and it goes on a um, about, I want to say it's about a 35 degree angle for, uh, for the decline, right? And then, so I've got slam balls, which is the black ball you saw on the floor right here. Let me show you. So, you know, medicine ball is different from slam ball. So slam ball, you know, it has this, nice leather feeling on it and you just drop it and then it doesn't come back. The medicine ball usually bounces back and there's different types of medicine ball too because I have the um, rubbo, rubber. So I have this one, the rhino ball and it got slammed it hard enough for it to bounce back. And then the other medicine ball, <laughs> that does not, and then in this one, you don't have to do much work. So it depends on um, what you're doing, and that's why you use different types of ball. That's why I have three different types of balls. So one, I have to, it's like one is maximum effort, the one that doesn't slam and come back to you, and then the other one's like medium effort. It's, you gotta do it hard and get that good core, and then that one is more like, Someone's tossing it to you and bouncing it back. Move you guys back so you can see the cardio stuff. So I have the assault bike. Um, again, it's pretty much same like the road bike. They do the same thing. It comes with like a nice timer in it. It does the intervals for you. You can do intervals. You could do Tabata. You could do heart rate. You could do time as your target, distance as your target. Super, super great, the ear bike. And then I also have the ear. Um, this was pretty much the last thing I had bought at the, in my garage gym last year. And then I have um, the rowing machine and it's the air rower and it just rows. You know, it tells you how far you're going, the time, your distance, your um, RPMs and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And that's a Sony, S Sunny. I usually say Sunny, but it's Sunny. Um, S U N N Y. And my husband got that off of Amazon. Then you have the the fitness, <gasps> my treadmill, the dead mill, right? So in the future, I probably will be replacing the treadmill for a steermaster. That's gonna be my like the only two things that I'll put back, put in here in the future is that I want either a leg press or a leg extension machine. I'm debating which one I should get. Um, I did find, I used to have the leg press hack squat. I didn't, I sold that and I didn't bring it here because I felt like it was too big and I wanted to save space. I found this really nice compact one that I'm eyeballing but I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna do leg press or leg extensions because you know, 
sexy legs. I love it. <laughs> but um, definitely going to share and probably change out either the treadmill for Steermaster or the rowing machine for the Steermaster because I know Oliver is going to fight me to keep the treadmill. But I'll make the Steermaster in the future. All right, so over here um, is the spotter's arms. Let me move you guys. <laughs> Look, I got to be my camera guy. Camera. So these black things that looks weird on the wall, probably gonna move them. No, they can't fit anywhere. So they, they're mounted in studs, but they are, I ran out of studs on that side of the wall. <laughs> so they're oddly over here. Um, but they are for the rack and you put them on the rack. And when you're doing your uh, back squats, any type of squats and you're working out alone and you want to go heavy, those are your spotter's arms for that that you put out there. And yeah, that's also from PRX because it, I needed the one that fit my, um, my rack, which I want to go back to the rack really quick and show you guys something that I missed, a little gem. So on the floor, let me tilt you guys. Probably have to move the camera and tilt it a little bit, guys. Sorry, my hand got in the way. But see, can you see on the floor right there? I'm going to go over there. But right there, my finger's pointing to it. So it is a landmine attachment. So what you do is that you attach the barbell. Put the barbell in there and hook it up. Let me do one time. I got to tilt it. Boom, it's in there and it's attached and you could do landmine exercises. This is my first workout in here. Ah, I do a row. Get my arm position good. There you go. <laughs> I got to do two on this side. Make it even, make it even. You saw it here first. I did my first workout in here <laughs> just now. So the only thing I don't like is that sometimes it just falls down and I would love if it had something to just hold it onto the bar, um, you know, but it's not in the way. It doesn't fall out in the way, but I have kids and I'm always thinking about stuff on how to get rid of things out of their way. Plus they come in here. This, my box, I don't upgrade the box. I don't have the fuel adjustable box anymore. I have the PRX box and it's if depending on which side you turn it to that's how high it will be it goes all the way up to 30 inches so it's like 24 20 um 20 24 and 30 something like that don't quote me guys treadmill is nordic track it has ifit enabled which i don't use because i use this going to treadmill walk and then watch tv right and then let me move you guys over here so the mirrors, the two mirrors here, there are two mirrors. They make 72 inches, but <clears throat> because I broke the other mirror from, I'm sorry, this thing keeps <laughs> sliding down. Hold on, let me straighten you guys out. Thank you, thank you, Donna. So the mirrors here, I bought them from Home Depot. They're about 50 um, something bucks a piece. And you buy the bar, you put it in there, you mount it up and it makes a nice good gym mirror. And it's, it's way much more affordable than the Fab Glass mirror. Fab Glass mirror, I wanna say it's like $500 right now, six something for that size. So that 48, by 72 size that I replaced is like six something. I'm trying to straighten out the camera for you guys because I want you to see inside here. So this big black thing, thank you, Sherry. So this big humongous black thing, right? So this is the battle. Oliver was like, oh, you should have put that over there and out of the door. And, but it's not, for me, I needed the back space 
for when I'm doing my videos because this is my studio as well. And when I do my, um, my live training and my workout videos, I generally do free weights, right? This is, I'm gonna show you guys a cable machine. So this is the F9 fold away cable machine. And it does fit perfect in a corner. If the, if the basement didn't have that lip, you see this lip right here, which is the, um, the vent because the vent is this low. So they cast the vent in. So this couldn't go in when if, Actually, if they didn't cast it in and it was just the raw basement, it would have fit against the wall perfectly. But because it's framed in and the two by four makes it took away the space. But yeah, this is my cable machine. Right. And because I have children, they already broke <laughs> the thing off. I'm going to bring you guys closer so you can see. Inside my inside there. So it's a full on fledged cable machine. I love, it was super easy to set up. Everything you see in the gym, I set it up myself, by myself, except the wall, I did that with my sister. But and when I mean the wall, I mean the accent wall, but everything you see mounted, um, don't be afraid to do it yourself because I did it myself. I'm saying as this thing is crooked and I'm trying to fix it and it's bothering me. So yeah, the boys came in here and for some reason these things are broken off already, but they're like the weight selector. And then I had to hide, but super sturdy It's up to 200 pounds on each side. And, but yeah, look, you could do a lot of a lot of fancy stuff. I want to make sure it's the same weight. And I like that it folds away. Do some chest exercise. We'll work your back. You know, and it comes with a pull-up bar. So it's the F9 Torque Fitness. T-O-R-Q-U-E. And this is the most expensive piece of equipment in here, right? It's about 2,500 I paid for it. And, but yeah, this, this, this piece of thing here, the second most expensive thing is the rack. And I bought that five years ago. Um, and then I want to say probably the weights, but boom, this takes away the use of a resistant band and, um, Maybe Oliver will come in here and work out. I hope. The only bad thing, I'm going to tell you this. The only bad thing is that it doesn't come with a lot of stuff. It comes with just this. The black bar for you to do stuff like that. And the book. Everything else, um, all the attachments. I've had already and but you would have to buy them and it comes with like a book that shows you moves that you can do and it does come with this black um, rope thing let me get closer you see this that she has on yeah I, I threw that in a box somewhere because I probably won't be hooking that up onto my body and there's just certain things I just I'm just not gonna do but it comes with moves and then you can do it. And then once you're done, you can fold it away. Oh, I have to take these things off because you see how this back space is open. I found my sons in here. They snuck in through the back and was in there working out, doing whatever. That's how they ripped that thing off. But I have to take these off so they don't smash their fingers. All right. Um, then I have in the corner here, I have a locker in my locker. I have like my camera stuff. I got the locker from Amazon. I'm thinking about getting another one because I want to put like hoodies and gym clothes 
in my locker. Not, I mean, clean gym clothes, not dirty stuff. But it comes with a key, what? Yeah, locker, top and bottom. But I got my sneakers down there, my gym sneakers. And th these are the lights that I was telling you guys about. In the corner, I have like another rack that I have mounted the cable attachment stuff on. Can you see it? That's what's in this corner. And then I have my um, trap bar down on the floor. TV set up. Cause you know, you gotta watch TV. And then my favorite spot, I made this little spot right here for my kids. And I wanna show it to you guys because fit mom life. I love my kids, but I just don't wanna work out with them all the time. So when they come in here, yes, come. Come, I'm right here. Yeah, come. All right, don't cry. I'm right here. Couldn't find me. All right. Had to get my little munchkin. So, my the rock wall and the swing. So, you know, I had a little spot for them in the last gym, in the garage gym. And because of COVID and when it gets cold, I added more things to keep them entertained. And I really love that. And I wanted to keep them in here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I did this setup and they come down here eagerly to come work out. Like before they would be like, before they would be like, let me work out with you, mommy. But um, now they come down here by themselves and they come in the gym and do a nice, whatever. So they swing and I anchored it into the wall, into the ceiling and it's in a stud, of course. This way it can hold the weight. The rock wall, I made it. I bought the plywood from Home Depot, drilled the holes in there. I bought the good wood too. This way you don't have to do a lot of sanding. Drill the holes. I randomly drilled the holes because I'm gonna tell you guys, I watched a few videos on YouTube University and some people be doing too much. Like I felt like it was a rock climbing wall and they were gonna put their feet and hands at random spots. Like we had some people in there like measuring stuff out. Let me tell you, I took the drill and I pretty much did this. Zoom, zoom, zoom all over, holes everywhere. And then um, I got the pegs from Amazon so you could buy the rock climbing pegs by itself. Right, it came with the pegs and it also came with this um, hand, two handles and a rope. So if you wanted to like attach the rope so they can like pull on the rope, but I didn't want to do all of that. Um, I had my daughter design and my sister, she designed, they both, Nala's such an artist. So they designed the wall. It's supported on the two by four on top of another two by four. So I added two by fours. Um, connection to the two by fours that's already in the wall. And then I uh, drilled the plywood on top of the two by fours that I mounted up there. And again, the random holes, um, you have to put in the studs. So the rock climbing wall comes with like a butterfly piece. You put that in the back. So you put those in there first and then you're able to screw the pegs in there. What I wanna do in, the, I wanna do, I wanna add monkey bars. So um, I actually bought them already, but they were, the company that sent them to me claimed that they were one size and they were not. So I ended up having to set them back because they have to fit in the studs, right? And it was too long. So they're gonna, this blank space that's right here is gonna be monkey bar up into the monkey bar right here. So that's the only thing I wanna add right there. So that is my uh, gym setup. Did I miss anything? No, I, you know, I have this one random piece of sa the safety bar right there from PRX. Can you see it on the ground? Let me turn it around. So I probably missed that, but the safety um, squat bar, that's what's on the ground that looks like it's flared up. I can't lift it up right now because I have the baby, but, but yeah, if you have any questions, just hit me up and I'll answer them. But that is the full gym tour. Again, if, 
I'm all about investing in yourself. I love working out at home because as you can see, aside from the fact that I turn my home, um, my passion into my business, because this is my business now. So this setup is my studio where I will be doing my live workouts and things like that with my clients. But also it is for myself and it's a great investment. I'm all about, you don't have to go balls out like this. Um, I do have like a smaller, more budget friendly setup for anyone. You know, all you need is really five, five. I always say all you need is five things, right? You can get the select weights, which are the dumbbells that you can select the weight. So you got bow flex and you got power block and then you got other ones, companies that popped up. But I really um, like the power block because it's like a square one. So when you put it on the ground, you can use that to do, let me, bow flex is like a round one. And I told you about the round and rolling. Um, get you a stability ball if you can't find a bench, but you can get a stability ball because you can use it to, to still do your upper body and your ab exercises, right? Um, and then uh, get resistant bands because with the resistant bands, you can hook them in your door and use it to replace a cable machine, right? Um, I said five, jump rope. Jump rope would replace your treadmill because it's good cardio, right? And I think, I think that's what I got. Bands, ball, um, the, band, the bands, the balls, the jump rope, and the weights and yourself and that's all you really need for um to get started with your fitness journey and you can add i'm telling you like i used to add stuff and hide it in places put it in the closet hide it away roll my barbell under my couch in my living room yeah that's what i was doing in the basement um before i had all of this and if you've been following me for a long time you guys know we were outside with nothing before we was outside with 10 pound weights but like let's go guys so we're doing this and that's when i had like two kids <laughs> now we four deep but um thank you guys for following me supporting me and we will be coming back with training because your girl gotta lose some weight i have not worked out since February and it is now May. But I have, um, in my defense, I've been lifting weights. You see this? I've been lifting these weights to bring them down here. <laughs> right? Did you just push me? <laughs> I guess no love. Hi, thank you. Lisa, Lisa says she's in love with the home gym setup. Yes. So I'm going to end my YouTube. Oh, yeah. One lap, my, I got the clock. How can I miss that? The clock is on the wall. There it is. And the timer, all that good stuff. So you're going to be hearing that instead of using my phone and my app. So we ready. We ready. <laughs> Thank you, Tamika. Thank you. So no worries. New training plan coming soon. You guys support my channel. All that good stuff. Give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, comment. Right? He went right back to sleep. <laughs> Mom life. I'm out, guys.